Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Anok 12. Boom! Looks like Ank Knock. Yeah, but they tell you how to pronounce it right on the can. Anok. Anok! Let's test it. Test it! All right, Scott, we're going with the Anok. Now, before we do that, we kind of have a little mini thing we're going to do great comments that come in from all these scotch god fans that we have we're going to reference one of them mm -hmm. we're not going to spend more than 15 seconds on it probably 15. but we're going to reference it maybe maybe a little longer since i had to say what we're about ready to do what do you got well this was our episode our live stream with mark gillespie great episode we did that live it's long though what is it an hour and 40 minutes yes we meander but it's a beautiful path um and we could have spent more time we could have we could have gone yeah. till we were under the table <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Connor Strang uh, commented on that video. He said, any plans of when you're going to review the McKinley's Shackleton The Journey, as I've noticed in the background in some of our videos? Boom! Hold on, let me do what, what Bruno calls the Brunsheen display method. Take a look! Yeah, here it is. Look here it at is. that! Move it around. <laughs> Can you see it? Did you see that? Follow in close! Yeah, we will review this soon. We actually tasted this probably five years ago. I don't know if it was that long. No, 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 because we had been reviewing. We we had the Dummies channel up and going, but really? it hadn't been that long. Okay. Yeah. All right, I thought it was a while ago we were, when it, it first was, came out. We it was well within little... our first year, so it's been two or three years ago. Gotcha. Okay, that. so yeah, we will get to this. I personally think it's a little overproduced on the packaging, but... That's... Yeah. It's our show is not about how it's packaged, it's about how it tastes. So great shout out again from who? Connor Strang. Boom. The Strang. Connor Strang. That's what we like to call him. Yeah, we like to call him the Strang. <laughs> so keep commenting, the Strang. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, now actually referencing Mark Gillespie, if you watch that live stream. And we'll put a link to that in our little description deal. Someone asked us to link when we reference a video. Uh, Mark. Uh, is in his basement, but he's got just this wall of whiskey. It's like a beautiful wall yo, of whiskey behind it. It's like Nirvana. All these different bottles. It's lighted. You can yeah. see some of them. Yes. And we asked, or, or someone had commented, what bottle would Mark yeah. keep? Out? If he could only save one bottle of all those, which one would he keep? That was a great answer he gave. To yeah, him. and he actually he had a 12-year ANOC mm -hmm. out of all these different whiskeys, probably 25-year-olds, mm -hmm. 30-year-olds, yeah. maybe olders. Olders. Yep. <laughs> he, had and, uh, he chose he had a 12 year old Anok, but that was because they had done kind of a special edition and they had taken a picture of Mark and uh, one of his was it a Welty Corgi? Yeah, I don't remember. I can't remember, but it was like his Sorry, beloved what? dog. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they were laying on a hammock, and Anok had had a basically a, a rendering of that photo put on the label for him. Yeah. one of one was it on the bottle. the bot on the uh can as well uh, uh, I, think I think they did know. it i don't know it might have been on the, the can as well so he said he would never open it that dog had passed and uh it was just a one of a kind and that was a really neat touch and when he referenced that it tells you a lot about mark as well so it wasn't about some 40 year old bottle on the back shelf it was one that had more special meaning so you again check out that live show now that live show it after we finish live we wrap up it automatically goes recorded yes it's an hour and 40 minutes long you'll want to pour you an anoc kind of like the intro to this anoc, video. right and then sip and watch so into the tasting into the tasting coin 160 boom wow this is a on, juicy fruit, yes. tropical fruit, cotton candy, mm. sugar sweetness explosion. Right. To mm. one, use one of your terms. Explosion? Like explosion. It's like an explosion of sweetness. That's a good one. <laughs> See, look how good you sound when you say that. It's, an, it's a sweet explosion. Wow. Let me get in. I know a little I bit of a else. little bit of a grassiness in there, a light oak. And as I get into my tasting notes, I'll tell you, this is one of the sweetest huh. fruity. I tasted this back in August of I'm 16th. September. Wow. Uh, one of the, the fruitiest, juiciest, sugariest, smoothest, citrusy like a word scotches. Smith. Wordsmith, sir. I get all of that <laughs> and something a little weird. 
fresh sawn twig. Fresh what? Sawn. What is that? Like past tense for saw. A saw twig. Sawn. Sawn. Oh. Yeah. Boom. Sounds good. Almost Sawn sounds sawed. like Nordic. Not sawed. Sawn sounds like it'd be like the mm. plural version of it mm. or something. No. Mm -mm. Past tense. <laughs> I'm probably wrong, but I sold it. So here's the deal. I was out trimming. We had a little bit of a warm day in the middle of uh, what should be a, a cold February. And back then, I must have, I don't know why I referenced that. I must have been sawn back then too. But uh, kind of like that wood right after I'd, I'd cut off these little twigs shaping the tree. And I kind of get a little bit of that, that wood sweetness. I think is how I would describe it. That's on the nose. Actually, while you was talking, I did think you would. You, I, I've probably said I was sawing some logs. She exactly. As reference and taking right. a nap. Bingo. Yeah. Little sawing, did you know. Sawing some logs. Boom. Bam. <laughs> I've never associated a scent with that though. Sawn. Yeah. Fresh sawn twig. <laughs> the fact that I had twig in here is odd, but it's that. Uh, hmm. It's, it's a little bit, that's where I'm getting the wood. It's like a sweet wood. That's, wow. That's we are a, a uh, non-chill filtered, natural color. Yes. They throw that boldly on yep, the front. Yep, right on the front of the packaging. I gotta admit, I like the pencil drawn now, hills and, and is that a church? Looks like it's a church. probably a distillery. Oh yeah, well, of course. <laughs> church. <laughs> <laughs> 43% ABV. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Dark fruit. Um, I've got in my notes and right here as well, it's chewy. Kind of has a, um, oh wow, beautiful tropical fruit transition. Feathering out into some subtle floral flavors. And uh, yep, I've got in here, it has substance and it feels heavy in my mouth. It feels like it's got a strong presence and that juicy fruit flavor still lingering on the top of my palate. The, the finish hangs around lightly and sweetly still on the top of my palate. Hmm. That is tasty. Wow. Um, I've got the juicy fruit in my notes, a sugar, a candy lemon drop, mm -hmm. the hard, the hard mm -hmm. lemon drops with the sugar coating on them. Mm -hmm. Little bit of a dry wine feel too, mm. to the mouth on it. Mouth feel. A very slight saltiness, almost like a salt water taffy. I get that. Very right, slight. Right in there with that astringence, mm -hmm. right? Hmm. And the astringent isn't super strong. It kind of hangs on the front end of the top of my palate and just slightly on the cheek. Um, I'd almost change it to say a lemon salt water I, taffy. I wouldn't argue with that at all. I agree. I wasn't. None of my notes have that in there, but it, that I, that dark fruit. What really surprised me here is that that robustness, that um, that that weight of it. Uh, the, I see in here a chewiness. Hmm. Interesting. Now, the only thing I've had that I think can compare to this in the sweetness level. Glen Morangy Milshawn edition, mm. the mm. the red and white candy striped, spe uh, one special edition they just put out last year. Do you remember it? I do it had the candy stripe? Let me the... pause real quick because our uh, the AC cycle just came on. Sorry about that. That will mess with our sound. So the Milshawn, the, the candy striped mm -hmm. glass, yeah, or the they just the had box. it, and they had taken if you remember the uh, the barrels that had been in when they charred it. They, there were some wine barrels involved, and then that wine crystallized right. the sugar crystals. Well, they got in a little trouble, and then they got in some trouble <laughs> because they're not supposed to add anything. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, we really didn't add it. Mm -hmm. It was in there, so yeah, I kind of reworked how they phrased it. But 
it you was know what? Really You're right. Just, with that, without anything added, this is just one of the fruitiest, sweetest scotches that I've had. Yeah. I mean, I get a real nice dark fruit. Right there, I got almost a hint of a plum. Now, see, I don't associate it with a dark fruit at all. I, I, I mm. stay citrusy and, and tropical. Hmm. I mean, I see where you're coming with that, but yeah. That plum that I just got. But I get all that. When you said uh, the lemon drop with the sugar on it, mm -hmm. my mom has those always in like a, a crystal bowl on the table. And my uh, my oldest loves those. Bo will be over there like, can I get a lemon drop? I'm like, mm-hmm, grab one for your dad. <laughs> Delicious. Mmm. I like that. Wow. All right. I scored it. I mean, I really like it. I scored an 88. Hmm. What are you? That low? Done. Boom. Wow. Yep. Um, this one, uh, what? Do you, how old is this again? 12. Yeah. 12. This one, uh, when I opened it up, it surprised me. I wasn't sure what I was getting into. I hadn't read a lot of history on it. The, uh, the fruity sweetness. This, for me, would be a wonderful summer Mm -hmm. dram mm -hmm. that sweetness that comes through the weightiness of it yet it's not an overpoweringness um it honestly flat out hits a sweet spot so um as we transition out of this i wanted to say we can't transition out of it yet we still got to do that is a good worth. point do that i was going to get into a patreon <laughs> plug and you're right we got to say is it worth it one thing point out too this is a highland single malt we hadn't mentioned that so, okay um i think we need to do that more mention what region i now agree don't disagree on that a knock also and i just tried a sample of it but the cutter which is a peated one Mm. And the cutter reference and the, the, the cutter that they Ooh. used to cut the peat. Um, I tried a sample of that over at the store. Really? So, yeah, after this one, we'll need to... And actually, they've oh, got a yes. bottle open they said we can take and review. Ooh. So we need to get that from them. Wow. I'll throw that in there. So anyway, you bought this, and I'm pretty sure I know the price point. Do you remember? Don't. You don't, re you don't have it written. Not even a smidge. This is before I started my right-on-the-bottle method. Yeah. This is a forty-five, to, oh, I believe, to fifty-dollar bottle. Steel. So, is it worth it? Is what you're saying? Yeah. Ding. <laughs> steel. That's a steal at that price. Good. I would agree. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a steal, but I'd say yeah, it's worth it. It's, it's worth that. Theft. It's a misdemeanor. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Rush out and get it at that price if you can find it. Wow. Um, I mean, they're blowing the doors off with this. That's that's good value on this for a nice 12 year, all the non-chiltering, no color additive, pretty, pretty, I mean, even the color, that's beautiful, like uh, straw color that's on there. Mm -hmm. So coming back in, I wanted to reference Patreon. Patreon, for those that don't know, and I'll say what this is in a second, if I can get it in frame. Patreon's like a, a way you can, um, it's a micro funding site where you can go to Patreon. You can look us up and we'll put a link in our description area on this too. Scotch Test Dummies is what we're known as, oddly, on uh, Patreon. What you can do is you can go in if you like the show. You, I see what you did there. Yeah, you like that? Boom. You want to help us out for as little as a dollar a month if you want. Um, some people do a dollar per show. We do about 10 shows a month. Some people just, hey, want to give you a dollar a month. Great. Uh, we got one guy giving us a lot more than that. We won't go into that. All right. But if you're a fan of the show, if you're a Scotch God or what we call a super fan, please go help us out at Patreon because what it allows us to do is to buy things like this Logitech camera. We noticed on our live shows, um, you were using your laptop with the built-in camera. Mm -hmm. I'm using my Mac. It was good. Um, but you went and tested one of these Logitech cameras. We went through a couple actually, yeah. yeah, before we settled on this one. Yep, and it looked way better. And we really, one of our goals with that Patreon money that comes in is to improve the show. We want to give you a better experience. He picked up a Yeti mic. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a camera. Uh, I said, that camera's great. I'm trying to get a Yeti mic. We got a buddy that's kind of not using one. If we can save some money and, and buy it uh, used, I'll do that. So, but this is where your funds go. They're gonna go to help improve the show. 
and quite honestly, um, well, it could be we bought a couple bottles with, yes, with we Patreon bought money as well too. So part of the prove the show, we we hopefully will uh, be able to say there's a bottle that I'll, quite honestly it's hard to get. I wouldn't have mm -hmm. been able to buy it without my wife saying, "What are you doing?" And so we're also going to source maybe a little bit more expensive bottles, hard to find bottles, uh, with some of that money that comes in from Patreon as well. So yes, that is where all of that money will go. It's going to help support the show. And uh, again, go to patreon.com and look up Scotch Test Dummies. Anything else you want to add? I'm going to give a quick shout out to Bubba and the Beard. Ooh, love Bubba <laughs> and the Beard. Nothing against Bubba them. and the Beard. Even they bought a few of our coins they and they are using them on their show. Yeah. So they'll even use them to cap off their little uh, you know, and, and Glen Cairns. Somebody came on and said, well, I don't know about, there's a lot of people saying that you shouldn't try to hold in the nose and everything else like that. Um, honestly, we, I get, I can get a better nose kind of when it's captured than mm -hmm. when it's just coming out. And uh, someone had never even heard of putting anything on there, but a lot of you have seen there's these ginger top lids, that they call them crystal yeah. ginger tops or ginger lids. And they're little Never crystal. Uh huh. Yeah, they got a little thing on it. You can put it down on top, and that does the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but they're kind of dainty or whatever. You can throw this in your pocket. Now it's not going to fit some of the bigger glasses. Obviously, it wouldn't fit a rocks glass, but it fits perfectly over a Glen Cairn. Just kind of holds in that nose a little bit. Yes, we'll let it breathe. This one's been open for a while, but. Even now, it funnels in the nose. And I'll tell you, there's sometimes when I've drank something at night and I want to nose it in the morning, I'll put one of the coins on it, and in the morning I'll come back, and the nose is a little bit different, kind of with that glass as it's set over. And I'm mm -hmm. honest, I'm a little bit of a nerd. I like the smell of whiskey, you know, not quite as much as the taste, but definitely the smell. So, uh, back to Bubba and the beard, though. Sorry, Bubba. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're new to uh, YouTubes, the YouTubes. Tubes. They've There's got a lot uh, of seven or eight, maybe nine videos out by the time this one airs. But if you haven't checked out Bubba and the Beard, go check them out. The two guys, uh, qu quite a good, quite a bit of good banter going on. Me and Bart are going to have to up our game. Yeah, I want to watch uh, Bubba braid the beard. I want to watch Bubba play with the beard, Ooh. braiding and playing. Stroke it. Scotch it. <laughs> you Scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies.